Well, hello everyone, and welcome to another episode of the Bearded Bandito. Today we're going to do a little G-Shock unboxing. I did one of these previously, and I got a new one. I, my old one, I had replaced the the bracelets on it uh, once, and then it I ripped them off again, so I got another one. So I figured I would give you guys an unboxing. It's not really a review, just an unboxing video. Uh, I'm not quite sure what the model of this is. It says it's the GBD 800UC-5 uh, in brown. So let's get to it. Okay, so we're working some weird camera angles here so I could actually get this on film. So uh, I have to excuse the probably going out of frame a few times. Uh, where's the... There we go. All right. Can't really zoom out much. So I'm trying to get this in the camera. All right, and voila, and it's in a smaller, almost identical <laughs> box. All right. Oh, we got the warranty card. I wonder how good and how long that's good for. Maybe we'll check that out here in a second. All right, some instruction manuals here. Oh, there you go, model number 3464. All right, this was a gift to me, so I'm not totally sure exactly where it was purchased or how much it costs or anything like that. But I'm sure you guys have a good grasp on how to use Google and can do that yourself. <laughs> All right. Oh man, that's light. That is lightweight compared to my last one. Let's see if we can get that on there. Oh man, that doesn't weigh anything at all. Okay, okay. There you go, there's that GBD 800UC-5. Yeah, there's the price right there. A hundred bucks, everybody. That's how much this costs. All right, so I'm gonna learn here with you guys, but I am reading the instructions. So it's, you can see it has uh, adjust, light, start, and mode, and you have this button right here. And apparently, uh, Adjust would be A, light would be B, mode is C, start is D, and I have no idea what this is yet, but it has different modes. You got timekeeping mode, stopwatch mode, recall mode, alarm mode, dual time mode, and timer mode, which is adjustable through C. So let's test that out. So that would be timekeeping mode. No, that would be stopwatch mode. This would be recall mode whatever that is alarm mode dual time mode that says DT right there and oh that's that's alarm okay this is in quite an order of what it says but those are some of the features all right let's see what else this bad boy can do okay so let's go ahead and let's just set the clock here on this thing uh, it is 3.50 right now, so it says to end timekeeping mode, which this is timekeeping mode, uh, hold down A for about two seconds. So let's do that. One, two, okay. Press C to display the second setting screen. All right. Press D to re reset the seconds count to zero. All right, and then press C to move the flashing to the hour setting. This is a lot of different things. Use D and E to change the hour setting. D and E, I'm assuming this is E. Okay, let me get that to three. Press C to move the flashing minutes. Of course, now it is, well, now it's 3.51. Might as well just wait a minute. <laughs> uh, use D and E to change the minute setting. I'm just going to hold it there. 
After all the settings, you want to press A to exit. So A. All right, man. And it is Sunday at 3:53 p.m. And that is accurate. And there we go. That's a lot to remember. Probably won't remember that. And I'll probably have to watch this YouTube video just to reference how to do that again. All right, so let's move on. All right, so here's a little bit of interesting information. We have this warranty card. But let's go ahead and actually read the instructions since most people fail to do so. Under initial battery, it says the battery that comes the battery that comes loaded in your watch when you purchase it is used for function and performance testing at the factory. The test battery may go dead quicker than the normal than the normally rated battery life as noted in the user's guide. Note that you will be charged for replacement of this battery even if replacement is required within your watch's warranty period. Well, that's pretty freaking useless. And if you care to know about its water resistance, uh, it has for hand washing and rain, or and or rain, uh, it is water resistance. To water related work, it is not. For windsurfing, it is not. And for skin diving, what is skin diving? Anyway, uh, not very water resistant. Just FYI, guys. Okay, so a function I should tell you guys, I was kind of fiddling with it on my phone. Uh, so this is my phone. Uh, right there, what it's telling you, press the D button. If you hold the D button for two seconds, it will connect to your phone. So that's what I did here, if you guys can see. Come on, camera, play ball with me. All right, so you hold this for two seconds. And then that's your connecting icon there. A new watch was found. All right. So this is done in the G-Shock app here. And right now, if you guys can see, I'm actually setting it up. So it has distance, I have miles, height, feet, inches, weight. We're gonna put that at pounds. And height, five, seven, no way. Uh, 512, so you can, okay, so this is how heights work. You can either be 512 or you can be six foot. So let's go with 512. I'm gonna go with 512 right there. I'm five foot twelve. Uh, come on, come on, move. What's going on? You do not want to work with me today. All right, let's just go about one night. I'll say one ninety-five. And you guys don't need to know what my birthday is, so I'll be right back. All right, so interesting thing about this. This was pretty cool for me. I did want to get a watch where I could get a step counter. Uh, once I connected it to the phone through the app, which you do have to download the app and go through all that process. Uh, another thing is it will not start tracking your steps until like you walk for like like 15 seconds. I, <laughs> I learned this just I was trying to walk. First I was just holding the phone. Apparently it does not really like just work with just the vibration of the phone moving. You have to actually put the put the watch on and walk and then do that for like 10 15 seconds and then it finally starts counting your steps okay so i mean really that that pretty much sums it up what it what it is basically it's you know it's buttons a b c d move the camera there let's move that back and e um, everything functions off that obviously you have this light like all of them they last like three seconds not even three seconds what is that one two yeah two seconds light stays on and then you have, you know, your different modes I went over earlier. And uh, I did record that. And you have your timer. Start your timer. Yep. And there that goes. Dual time, alarm. And I think you have like five alarms. You have alarm two, three, four, five, sig, and then back and then back to your regular time again and then you can click E and that goes over to your steps so yeah there's probably more to this um, this is just an unboxing of me going over the basics of it okay everybody so uh, I have to jump in on this video here so everything you just saw I recorded yesterday so today I have a little bit of review um, about the step counter which is garbage okay so <laughs> Uh, some of you know I'm a truck driver. I'm a local truck driver. 
and um, well, today I didn't do much walking. I uh, mostly did driving. I did like 450 miles, which is hardly what you do when you're local, but that's not the point. Uh, very little walking, and uh, according to this step counter, and by the way, I've actually tracked this before about what I normally do, uh, how many steps I do in a day very similar to today, with um, another little watch thing I used to have, and then also an app on my phone. And it's usually somewhere between 4,000 and 8,000 steps. Uh, I, I do flatbed stuff, so I do have to get out, walk around the trailer, strap it, unstrap it, all that kind of stuff. So there's some walking involved. But um, yeah, so I don't know, I'll show you guys this today. Okay, so you guys see that over 22,000 steps. So yeah, I um, definitely did not go 22,000 steps. This thing was racking up while I was driving. I was watching it while I was driving. Probably about uh, 17,000 steps just from driving. So extremely sensitive, not very accurate. Um, so wouldn't go on the step counter. If you were getting this watch because it has a good step counter, get something else. Um, but for the rest of it, like I showed you before, all the features it has, the five alarms, why anyone would need five alarms on a watch, that's kind of ridiculous, but you got it. Um, other than that, yeah, I mean, it's lightweight, it's a lot lighter than my other one. Um, it's somewhat water resistant, according to what it says. Probably not gonna test it out. My other one actually kind of was, because the other one I've actually submerged in water, and it works fine. This one, I haven't tried it, I don't want to try it. Um, but according to the, to the instructions, it's not, so. Anyway, um, is it worth it? That's up to you. Um, you know, if, if those things are something you, uh, if you want water resistance and uh, a step counter that works, this is probably not the watch for you. So anyways, guys, I'm going to get out of here. Um, but uh, until next time.